everyone. It's me again, Jeannie, with Nanny's Crochet Corner. I want to thank all of my new subscribers and thank all of my returning subscribers um, for coming and checking my channel out. And welcome to my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, I know I don't say this at every, in front of every video, but you y'all know what to do. Um, hit that subscribe button down there at the bottom. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. And if you don't, hit that thumbs down button. It really doesn't make me a difference because guess what? I'm going to keep doing this because I love what I do. Um, and I've always been told, if you, whatever it is that you do in life, do it with all of the love that you can put into it. And as long as you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. So no, crochet is not work to me. Crochet is what I love to do. And I'm going to keep doing what I love to do. So subscribe, hit that like button. And when you hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell over there to the right side of it. Go up to the top and hit all. That way you'll make sure you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, this is going to be my last video for today. Um, and guys, I promise you, today is Tuesday, March 31st. These videos will probably not be uploaded until tomorrow. I have the slowest internet in the world. Um, we cannot get any faster internet. So I do apologize if I do a video one day and y'all are not able to see it till the next day. But this is the day that I am recording this video, which is Tuesday, March the 31st, 2020. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into what I got to do. First of all, I want to um, mention Distinctive Crochet with Priscilla. And I will post a link in the description down below. She did a video yesterday about a Vita challenge for 2020 and vita stands for video every day in april i sent her a message and i told her i would like to join into that also she will post a video every day showing her progress on things that she is going to be working from out of a crochet book that she has i do not have that book that she has um but I do have one that I will be working out of. I got a uh, crochet magazine, my April issue, in the mail the other day. And it has some awesome, awesome, awesome patterns in it. If y'all don't get this in the mail, I would encourage you. And I am not sponsored in any way by this video. I am not affiliated with the crochet magazine or anything but if you do not have the April 2020 issue, I encourage anyone to go out and buy this magazine. If they can, or go online and see if you can get this 2020 April edition of this magazine. Because guys, it has some awesome patterns in it. And I'm going to flip here to the back. And I'm going to show y'all. And all of these are in this month's magazine. Look at them. And it's a couple on here that I'm going to be working on. Number 25 is one right there. Can you see that? Um, 25 is one that I will be doing. Number 14 is one that I will be doing. And number 12. And let me just see if I can find them in the book to give you a, a better view. This is called the Easy Breezy Topper. And that is it right there. Just gorgeous. Now, I would. this is recommending Premier Yarns Bamboo Fair Light. It's a DK weight. Um, number three. I do not have that yarn, and I don't plan on buying it, but I will make this with some other substituted yarn. Um, and this is the Breezy Open Mesh Cardigan. I just love that. And this recommends you, uh, the materials they use is Universal Yarn Bamboo Pop Light. 
It's also a lightweight three yarn. And I will be using something else. I will substitute another yarn for it that I already have in my stash. Because, guys, I do believe every day, every week my husband comes home. He don't think I know. But I catch him, I catch him peeping in my crochet room. And I think he's checking to see if any of my yarn is going down. <laughs> he thinks I just hoard yarn. And um, this is another one that I will be working on. And it is called the Twisted Chain Poncho. Now, this yarn is done in Red Heart It's a Wrap Rainbow Fine Sport Weight Acrylic Cotton Yarn. Now, I do have a couple of those skeins, but for the size I need, because I am a full-size woman, and I apologize for getting up. I wanted to get it. I do have a couple of these. And if anybody has two or three more of these that they want to sell, put a comment down below and I'll be glad to buy it from you. Because guys, I paid $6.97 for these on clearance at a Walmart, I believe. Well, that might be. If I didn't get it from Walmart, I got it from Joann's. Might be Joann's I got that from. And this colorway that I need two more of is Couture. Couture. And that is the exact same colorway that they use on this pattern. So, for my Vita challenge, I will be using this book. And I will show you on a real short, it'll be short, just the progress that I have made every day. Um... So I will finish my cinnamon fade shawl tonight. I will start on one of those projects tonight and I will do a short video tomorrow on the progress of that. So go check out if you have not checked out Distinctive Crochet and I will post her link to her YouTube channel down below in the description box. Go check her out. She's awesome. She's amazing. And guys, let me tell you, she does some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful videos. I would like to be able to hire just to do my video editorial and stuff because I ain't learned how to do that crap yet. But anyway, I got some yarn from Mary Maxim. Yeah. And I just want to show y'all guys what I got. And I know y'all probably like all that yarn you got back there. What you getting more yarn for? Trust me. When I get yarn, it's for projects. And y'all will see what I've done with it. So, first I want to show you. If you order $49 or more, then you can use a code and you can get a free tote. Look at my tote I got for free. Isn't it pretty? And y'all, my husband tells me all the time, you do not need empty more bags yes i do and he just don't know tell y'all about this right quick that and he may know after watching this video because he does watch my youtube channel but um we started our own trucking company in 2005 and he bought his first truck and this is a picture of it and he said we would never part ways with that truck because it has a lot of sentimental value in it because um, we lost his dad in 2004 to lung cancer. And um, he was really, prior to his death, he was really encouraging my husband to get his own truck. And he was actually talking to other guys and stuff about it and everything else. So, But... That is the truck, and this is printed on fabric. Well, that is going in a box to one of our favorite bag makers, Miss Billy, the Crafty Floridian. 
and I'm going to get her to make me a little notion bag. And I want her to put this on the outside of it for me because he sold the truck, y'all. And I literally cried. So for his birthday last year, I went and had that picture put on a poster and put it in a frame. And I also had it put it on canvas and it's hanging in his office at work. So he's reminded of that truck every single day because I begged him not to sell that truck. Please don't sell that truck. Um, it's an older model truck, but we had the motor redone in it a couple of years ago. So the guy that got it got a good truck. So back to what I was talking about. I'm sorry about that, but yeah, this is my free bag that I got. It does not have pockets on the outside, but it does have pockets on the inside. It has these on this side and it has a zipper pocket on that side and it is padded. And I love the Paisley print material. So I did get that and I will be using it. Um, They had the Red Heart yarn on sale. Um, I can't remember what it was, but I got some of the Red Heart Comfort. And this is light pink. Um, now, I know that's contradicting. Oh, I'm sorry for bumping the camera, y'all. Um, know that contradicts my other video where I talk about the Red Heart breaking me out compared to the Premier Basic yarn. However, I have noticed not all Red Heart yarns do it. The main one that I mentioned in the video prior to this one was the Red Heart Super Saver. So this is Red Heart Comfort Sport, and I'm going to see if it does it. This is a lightweight number three. It is made in Turkey, machine washable and dryable. It is 350 grams, 12.35 ounces, 1,050 meters, or 1,144 yards. And I got it in the light pink. I got it in cream. I don't want to take them all out the bag. The ones that are open on in the bags, I will. This is the cream. It And it's showing true to color on the camera. And it's same weight, same yardage, and everything. So, And it's the Red Heart Comfort Sport. I got it in hot pink. I got it in amethyst. I got it in butter. Butter. And I also got it in lilac. I'll make some blankets for my grandbabies out of that. I can get quite a few blankets out of those. And um, because I love that um, peephole chevron stitch so well, that will be the uh, stitch that I use for for some of their blankets. Um, I got four granddaughters, so I'm going to have to switch stitching up or they're going to be fussing and arguing. No, oh, you got my blanket. Mama, Kendall got my blanket. Yeah. I also got the some of the Red Heart Dreamy. They had it on sale as well. It is super, super soft. It's a medium weight number four. It's 100% acrylic. It is 8.8 .8 ounces, 250 grams. Red Heart Dreamy. It is 466 yards or 426 meters. It is also machine washable and dryable. And the recommended hook size is a 6.5 millimeter. And it's the Red Heart Dreamy. And it's got the fuzzies on there. It almost looks like it has wool or something in it, but it doesn't. It's 100% acrylic. And this colorway is gray. 
and I did get and y'all these came in the other day so they have been quarantined I got two of the gray I got two in the celery color Let me check something right quick. I think. Okay. I was going to say here we'll go again with different yardage in there, but nope, they all have 466 yards. I got it in the aqua color. I don't think they have very many colors to choose from. I think I got what they what color choices they had. And I got it in the lavender. Isn't that pretty? And I got it in the dark tape. Pretty, pretty, pretty colors. And I do have plans for that and some of those things that I showed y'all in the um, in the magazine will be used with that and the last thing i got they had their red heart scrubby cotton on sale as well so i got four of these in different colors this is called caribbean and it's a medium weight number four 5.5 millimeter crochet hook five millimeter knitting needles is machine washable and dryable um, it's 100% cotton. It's 145 yards, 133 meters, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. And it is made in Turkey. And this is the Caribbean color. This is lemony. This is this cinnamon stitches favorite color and this is denim I guess it kind of looks purple but it's denim let's see yeah I guess you could say it's denim so and that is all on that um, I do have plans for these as well. Um, I'm making my daughter some dishcloths. And my plans is to um, crochet and cotton so far and then put this in the middle of the dishcloth. And then finish it off with just regular cotton. I will like this better compared to the scrubby yarn that is got all the fringes and stuff on it that it's hard to see your stitches with. Yeah, I like working with this better. So that is that. And that is all of that. Um, that's my yarn that I got from Mary Maxim. And I do have plans for all of it. Um, I'm not just keeping all this yarn, not doing nothing with it. I am doing stuff with it. Look at that hair. It just wants to do what it wants to do. Yeah, my hair is just, it's natural curly. If I want straight hair, I had to flat iron it. So, all right, guys, that's it. I don't want this video to be real long. I hope everybody stays crocheting. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and um, let's keep encouraging each other. Let's keep supporting each other. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up or down button. It doesn't matter to me. Leave a comment, and I will get back to you on it. And, um, yeah, stay crocheting, guys and gals. I will talk to y'all later. Good night.